This year's edition of the 2019 Law Week is in line with the tradition of the Nigerian Bar Association for every branch of the NBA across the country to hold an annual Law Week event in order to afford members of the bench and other arms of government and stakeholders an opportunity to brainstorm on burning national issues and proper objective solutions for the betterment of all. The event, which was held at the International Conference Center, drew participants from the bench, diplomats, and arms of governments. Useful suggestions have been offered in the area of desired amendments in action of criminal justice, law of evidence, and award of cost in civil proceedings. The paper also makes a case for legislative intervention in situations where the Supreme Court are in conflict. In other jurisdictions such as India and US, the decision of the Supreme Court can be amended through legislative intervention. In an interview with the participant, the chairman, Nigerian Bar Association, Abuja Branch, Esquire Abimbola Kayode, gave the reason for the gathering and further conversed the need for state community police as a measure for the current security challenges. So, the whole essence is to ensure that lawmakers, the courts, all players, see the need for Nigerian laws to be amended for the better of The problem most, most of the time is because these laws are archaic. And these laws are old laws. Some of these laws date back to 1945. Some of them date Now, how do you expect, for instance, a law that was, that was enacted in, uh, even in 1960 to be of any relevance in 2019, 49 years after? So, this is the issue. And this is why we choose the team of this law. We need every aspect of the law really, to my mind, needs to be amended. And that is the whole essence of this law. So we believe that at the end of the event, we will be in a position to maybe forward the position paper to the National Assembly for them to see uh, what we are seeing. In any case, uh, shortly after now, we will be having the showcase session, which is also meant for the National Assembly. And it is um, actually tagged setting an agenda for the French Republic. So we invited most of their principal officers. If they are here, they will, they will meet Nigeria who will ask them questions and then tell them their minds about our laws. State police or community police, depending on how you look at it, to my mind is long overdue. Because it's just like what the key new speaker said. Now the, <coughs> sorry, the, the, the policing of the country is centralized. You have an assistant, you have an inspector general of police who takes orders from the president. Now, he posts commissioners to various states. Most of these commissioners don't even know the language of those states. They don't even know the, the, the people of those states. Now, how do you police such an environment? The same thing you go to the, to the, to the local government, the regional police officer. The local government, the the police, they don't know their culture, they don't know their ways. So it's difficult for, 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 for you to do any serious policy. So for now, it is, it is the right time for, for, for us to look at state police, even local government police. There's no, there's no big deal with you not having state police and local government police. In fact, it, 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 it saves the center a whole lot of problems. The Vice-Chancellor of Bayes University, Professor Tahir Maman, similarly spelled out challenges for upholding the law as a major concern for the school administrators. He further emphasized on the penalties against rape. One of the major areas of concern for university administrators, which is good behavior and socialization of students to be good citizens. And we feel that should actually start even right from primary school. By the time they come to the university, to some extent, it begins to be a bit late because these are people who have, who have, have, who have formed an opinion of life. And then what they see around them too, you know, has a way of influencing them. Like uh, the general attitude of lawlessness around, you know, when they, so when they compare that to what you are telling them, it becomes very difficult to reconcile. And uh, so universities to some extent do it, but as you know, there's a lot of freedom in the universities um, and how students, about regulation of students generally speaking. So that provides some limitation, but 
taking our own case as an example, you know, we, we ethics, generally speaking, are good conduct is the things, values in which we uh, espouse to our students, you know, from the time they learn in the university. But as I said, the best place to start is from the primary school. Civic responsibility. Death penalty is also a very controversial thing now, right across the world, whether or not we should have a death penalty for the simple reason that uh, you could simply convict the wrong person and kill the person before you discover that he, there was a, a, a mistake. And uh, so the best, to me, uh, regime will be life or very long prison term. And because as it is now, one year as it is in the penal code is sufficient. We know there are two other laws, violence against uh, the person, but if it's there with a stiffer penalty, there's also child rights act if, it's, if it affects uh, a child with a very long, longer, uh, stiffer penalty. But definitely, whatever it is, that provision is long overdue for our whole. Meanwhile, Barrister Adedeji Emmanuel at the event also stressed the need for the amendment of the laws, as he noted that our laws have become obsolete and does not reflect the Nigerian system anymore. Uh, our laws, uh, most of our laws are handed over to us by the British. Uh, that is where we first start our penal revolution. Uh, with, uh, all the laws that are existing in England, as of January 1900, were made to be applicable to Nigeria. Then we, some other laws were made by us. Most of these laws are obsolete. They cannot meet the challenges of today. No law is social engineering. Law is meant to uh, uh, form for a smooth running of the society. So when the society have left the laws behind, there is bound to be chaos. So what we're looking at, we trying to look at the laws. We are we try to identify specific laws. Uh, make case for me. We cannot amend. We, we, the legislature, uh, the legislative arm of government is uh, serving the goals of making laws and amending laws. But we can, there are some others that are represented here, we can make a case for amendment and for that. Because it has nothing to do with ethnicity or the complexity of our society. We are looking at day to day uh, running of the society as it affects everybody across us, all ethnic group, we are looking at how can the laws call the ease of today. Maybe ease of doing business, some laws, just, let, let me give you an example. If you have a judgment against the government, you need the consent of the Attorney General to enforce that judgment. It's very, how can Attorney General appointed by the government give you consent to execute judgment against it? In Abuja, Amino Adamo, TVN News.